Hello, I'm Christina, and if you've seen some of my other videos on the website, I may have mentioned that I work with fluid mechanics or fluid dynamics, uh, but applied to a manufacturing technique called inject printing. And I'm going to try and give you a bit of an overview of what I do in a very, very short uh, manner. <laughs> Um, so let's see first, what is inject printing? So basically it's a technology uh, that consists on transferring liquid onto a substrate, uh, but not touching that substrate. So it could be just one single nozzle ejecting some drops, it could be many of them, or it could be some other similar systems. Uh, so we cover with this technique or similar ones, from um, droplets that are about 12 micrometers in size to something uh, more in the millimetric range. So that you have an idea, this is kind of the range of scales, basically. I work mostly around there, something like the um, dozens of microns to 100 microns, more or less. And this is um, an example of um, products that use um, inject printing. So you can use it for uh, small batches or things that are very variable. So you can see, actually, I hope you can see that the drops. Same here, you, um, when you buy X, just check next time about the expired date and the information. And also we have different types of inject devices. So in this particular case, this is more industrial. This is what you may have seen at home. A uh, printer at home, basically. So what happens in this case, we tend, I mean, what we do is stacking print heads of different colors. And then there is a whole field of image um, treatment somehow. So you can combine different colors with different drop sizes, and then you generate uh, a large hue, a large um, hue of colors. Uh, so what exactly do I study? Well, basically, you can see maybe in the videos how those sort of things, oh, sorry, so how one of the videos is not playing. Oh, that's a pity. So basically, when you have some issues going on, I'm going to try and play those videos. Um, this one. I said it's kind of, you can't play the media, but maybe with this one. So. Basically, you can see there how the drops are not as nicely ejected as they were before when I was explaining about this technique. So I'm trying to avoid those things from happening or at least understand what, what can be happening. In this particular case, you can see here how we lose resolution or well, we lose quality. Um, so in here, I was trying to, to print something very smooth as in this bit here, but things are happening. So. How do I study this? I use things like this experimental rig that you can see here, in which I use high-speed cameras or you know, like uh, linear actuators to move things under a printing device and see what go goes on with the airflows, for instance. So basically, let's see whether we can play this video. Oh no, I can't either. Let's see here. I kind of play, but well, it's just like I would be moving those um, those uh, different shapes under a printing device and then see what happens. I hope we can see this one. Yeah, okay, so we can see this one. So we can see things like those in these areas. You can see the air around the printing area, and these are particles of things. So we try to understand what goes on there. And we also happen to study more things like electric charges. What happens when the drops get um, charges that you're not expecting? And I hope you can see a video that we uploaded on electric induction. Um, so you can understand this a bit better. But again, they can get deviated those drops. You, we don't want they deposit in areas in which they shouldn't be depositing. We only want them in the substrate, on the substrate. So there are more challenges. What happens when your substrate is not sticky enough? What shall we, you do in terms of drying the ink? Or what happens when you need a functionality? So what happens with the chemistry? Or we, when you need to integrate those devices into a robotic arm or you know, a bigger system somehow? And why do I study this? Well, 
basically we would like inject or printing in, in general to be a be more uh, energy efficient, uh, be more sustainable, allowing um, customization of products at an end scale. So doing things more personalized and also to embed function in, in uh, uh, on substrate or inside substrate that are a bit difficult to, to somehow deposit liquids on in, uh, in, in different ways. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope that has given you a bit of an idea of what our research and you can definitely see more on the website. So please just drop us a line if you want to know some more about what we do. Thank you.